Alright, see you later. See you later mate. There's St Pancras, just uh, heading towards Farringdon on my electric unicycle. It's uh, pretty early here in London. It's uh, currently about half past six in the morning. Wow, thanks for joining. I see uh, quite a few of you watching me live. So, um, King's Cross to the left, just uh, over there, and uh, I take a pretty straight route uh, to Farringdon. There's uh, the underground station at St Pancras. And I'm just going to cross the traffic lights. And uh, just whizzing across. There's a fairly straight path with lots of drop curbs, makes it fairly straightforward to ride. I'm not really a big fan of flying off uh, big heavy curbs. As you can see, uh, cyclists can still go faster than me. Um, I ride probably around uh, 10 miles an hour, roughly. If you've just joined, I'm just riding on one of these things. And uh, cobblestones are not very nice to ride on. But it's a good challenge, when you're first on an electric unicycle you do uh, absolutely dread going over cobblestones because uh, you tend to fall off your wheel. All right, I like this uh, straight bit. It's really smooth. Um, it's really well laid pavement. Just uh, like to avoid the manholes, drain covers. Just coming up to a uh, college. Which I would um, normally go through. But um, on this occasion I'm just going to go up to the lights down uh, Grayson Road. It's a really nice road in London. Especially early in the morning. It's not as hectic as uh, later on in the day. People are more chilled.
just waiting for a green light. We're technically in Camden. Although Camden is further that way uh, by quite a bit. Uh, going down that way, uh, you'll hit Holborn, you'll hit the river, you'll, we're just north of the river. Keep going that way and you're heading east towards Angel. Um, the reason why I don't uh, cross while it's um, on a red light um, is uh, just pure fear of being run over on an air wheel. <laughs> uh, it is um, technically a grey area. I just saw a question pop up uh, asking me whether it's uh, legal to ride on the pavement. Uh, technically it's a grey area uh, and it's down to uh, discretion of uh, police in the local area um, but I've had lots of police stop me um, but not to discuss legality uh, more to uh, ask me uh, what, it, what I'm riding and um, uh, and to tell me how, how cool the thing is and how much they want one so uh, I don't think it's too much of a problem um, I've been riding for about uh, six months in London and uh, I've been riding around other parts of the UK as well and it's not been an issue at all. They've just been uh, renewing this pavement here and uh, just have to avoid uh, random things like that just now where uh, uh, and uh, nice little bumps and old pavements where they uh, haven't filled in the gaps very well um, if it was tiling it would be uh, grout but I don't know what they call the uh, infill in between uh, the paving slabs sometimes they're not laid down too well and uh, they're a bit dangerous So this is Guildford Street. Just checking both sides, we're good to go. Coming up to the Charles Dickens Museum. Charles Dickens Museum. This is a really well rated pub if you're ever in London, the uh, Lady Otter Line. And uh, now we're coming up to uh, Clerkenwell Road or the road that becomes Clerkenwell Road. It's one of the main routes into London. To my right is central London, down that way. Uh, we're going to head this way to Farringdon. Oh, 
Ah, I just missed the light. Never mind. That's Grayson Road. Going left, um, you'll go straight back up to King's Cross where we've just come. We've just taken some back roads. And going down that way, you'll hit uh, Chancery Lane, uh, which is on High Holborn. Uh, keep going that way, you'll hit Old Street. And keep going that way, and uh, you'll hit uh, Oxford Street um, at some point. Uh, just to uh, stay balanced where I am, um, I am uh, just holding my core muscles in. Very good for holding core, core ab muscles. There's a green light where I go. Uh, this is a, a green on all sides on this crossing. So I just uh, hop straight across the diagonal of, of the crossing. have to uh, concentrate for, and look out for people and uh, people do tend to walk out in front of you when you're on an electric unicycle they're going to uh, what I could describe as zombie mode where they go oh what's that and then go into a sudden state of being shocked and uh, don't know where to go, don't know what to do, and literally just stand there in front of you. It's Leather Lane Market. Yeah, this is what it looks like first thing in the morning when uh, no one's around. There's a pretty cool market, lots of really good food around here, uh, all street food. And um, it's actually quite a smooth road to uh, ride on. Uh, parallel to this is Hatton Garden, uh, which had um, a break in the other week. One of the biggest jewelry heists of all time. On the security deposit box. And uh, just gonna zip in here underneath the canopies. And uh, I've actually just kind of bypassed the Farringdon area a little bit to come down to Holborn. So uh, here we are, this is Farringdon area-ish, um, well this is Holborn technically I guess, I'll just take you quickly down Farringdon, doesn't take me long on the wheel. They just relayed this uh, pavement, it's super smooth at the moment. That's uh, Smithfield's Market, uh, where those uh, two green tower things are. It's 
Smithfields Market is just uh, finishing up its day. And uh, I don't have a drop curb here. This is the biz. Um, which is really annoying. Uh, which means um, I either try and jump that or uh, I pick it up and just walk across. Which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to leave the uh, periscope here. Uh, thank you very much for joining me this morning. And uh, if you're watching a rerun of this, uh, check back again for future periscopes. I'm Kwai Chi. Until next time, take care.